Hello gardening friends! So I come to you on a sunny day in Louisiana, zone 8A, where there's still snow on the ground. So we got snow two more times, this, so three times this season, which is totally crazy. And you may have seen some of our little videos like, what's happening? Um, but that's the garden. It's uh, totally under snow and the greenhouse collapsed under the weight of the snow. So I'm about to go open up the greenhouse and try to see what's going on in there. Um, so I'm gonna take you with me to check it out. All right, let's go. I'm trying to really take this all in because this does not happen very often. There's my strawberries. You can kind of see the, the rows. Looks like little swells in the ocean. And the greenhouse. So there it is. There's the garden. Beautiful. I'm thankful I've still been able to teach my classes. And like I said, we had food and water. We did lose water for a day, um, but it's back on now. So look at all that snow. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna try to get inside this greenhouse. I don't know from which way, but see what's going on. All right, I was able to get this out of there. My beets, they look a little worse for wear, but there's still some in there. I'm going to bring those inside. And then just to show you, those are my pots there. That's pretty much all I had in there besides this lime, this key lime tree, which it's not supposed to get that cold either. I, I heard it can handle down to 20, but we got below 20, which is really weird. So you can see it crushed one of my pots in there. Um, I had chives and Swiss chard and beets and microgreens in here, but I'm pretty sure they're all dead. The rest of the stuff is in the house, so I'll take you inside and show you what I've got in the house. And I'm going to take these beets inside. Alright, so this is my teaching room um, slash office. This is where I teach most of the day, and these are my teaching lights. And I've been using them for my plants to help them from getting too leggy. Um, they are E-Mart 105 watt, 550,000 K, I don't know what that means. So anyway, I have two of those and so I have been turning them over my plants. But lately with the energy thing going on, um, you know, that they asked us to use less electricity so I haven't been doing it for a couple days. Anyway, these are my beautiful seedlings. Let's take a look. All right, so I started some flowers and these blue daisies are doing really well. Um, also started some zinnias and these actually started out in the greenhouse when it was getting cold at night, but it was getting really warm during the day. So they did well. Um, strawberry spinach is sprouting. These are the tiniest little seeds. So of course the tiniest little seedlings. No lavender yet. Someday, someday lavender. Um, I've got some orange bell peppers that are looking really good. Banana peppers, and then some tomatoes. So I always have issues with my tomatoes getting leggy, even if I'm using lights. So any advice is always welcome. I feel terrible, I already wanna <laughs> transplant these because I hate having plants in these little tiny cells, but I know it's okay, it's okay. Um, more tomatoes, these are peppers, lemon jalapeno and orange bell peppers. I'm gonna have a lot I'll be able to share because I don't need that many, so friends of mine that live around here will get some. More of these daisies that are blue in the middle and white on the outside. Polar bear zinnias, no sage. Got some marigolds coming up in here. So yeah, mostly just peppers and things that don't 
do well, or things that need a little head start. I should say that because I've started tomatoes and peppers straight in the soil before and they've done fine. But um, that's because I live in a zone that has a long summer. But then it gets too hot, so I'm trying to kind of get a jump this year. So there's the snow outside. I'm gonna keep the lights over these and hopefully they'll grow well. So as somebody who grew up in Hawaii for most of the life that I remember, um, had no seasons at all, um, not complaining, but we would go to Oregon every few years and we would go either in the summer or in the winter. And so it would be either covered in snow or just gorgeous and beautiful. And I never got to see this or experience the feeling of like, oh, finally I can see the ground again. So, it's magical, it's unusual for this area. So the garlic just looks gorgeous. I put some onions in between these garlic rows and I don't know if they'll live. I also put onions in between the cilantro and you can kind of see them poking out like here. Um, but everything took a pretty rough beating being under snow for four or five days and below freezing for more than that. So I'm going to go ahead and take these off. We didn't get super cold last night, so I left the lids off. But we're going to go ahead and see these broccoli. And I'm just looking at the Brussels sprouts thinking, are they going to make it? There was one baby cabbage. We'll take a look at all of it. It's going to get pretty warm today. Looky there. I hope it's not stunted from it getting so cold. But it doesn't look like it completely froze through in here. I'm going to take them all off and look at them. I'll probably put these on if we get a cold night. That one broke a little bit right there. Just break that off. Let's see, they had a kind of an insulation around the base too, so I think that helps. Let them get some sun. I decided, ooh, that one looks really good. Wow, that's insane. Um, I like these vinegar jugs the best because they can get the most sunlight. I've never done this before, so next time I will use all this kind so they can get light during the day. I'm sure the white gives a little bit of light. But... Oh, cute. You can hear the road still got some ice and snow on it. There they are. So the peas, I don't know if they'll still come up after all that cold, um, but if they don't, I'll plant again. But I wanna wait and see if they come up. It's all an experiment, right? We'll see, these Brussels look like they got pretty frozen solid too. But overall, I'd say these greenhouses are awesome, especially, I don't know about all that snow and way below freezing, but for the colder temperatures to protect your seedlings, I'd say definitely it's a go. It's the most beautiful morning. So this is what spring feels like. Feels like hope. Okay, use a little of that. There's our snowman. I'm glad to see my little pallet garden sticking out and my strawberry beds are sticking out again. The greenhouse, total loss, it's okay. I definitely won't be throwing away the plastic. Can use it for little smaller cold frames and things, but uh, part of it's ripped, so 
it's okay I don't really need a greenhouse that much here in Louisiana and I'll get one I'd rather have a high tunnel than a little greenhouse so I'd like to put a high tunnel like right here so keep dreaming always thanks for watching guys have a great day